Welcome back to the channel. I'm your older than average gamer. Today we have an early look at Grey Zone Warfare's newest update coming out on November 27th. This is Night Ops. A new day-night cycle with a two-to-one ratio, meaning that there'll be two parts day, one part night, encompassing a three-hour total simulated full day. A ton of new tasks are going to be available, some of which are going to be designed specifically to be done at night. New AI behavior and a general overhaul, which we'll get into a little bit more later on in this video, as well as less AI one-hit kills, which I'm sure a lot of people are going to be very happy to hear. Three NVG options in total, including the PVS-7, the PVS-14, and the PVS-31A, the first two of which are a monocular one-tube view. The PVS-31A is the dual-tube view, which most people are going to be wanting to get a hold of as soon as they possibly can. Again, we're going to dive a little more into that in just a little bit. A host of IR lasers, lights, and illuminators, as well as canted aiming, which is going to be useful in many situations, uh, not just at night. And there's also a full wipe coming for anybody who's thinking about picking this game up for the first time. You'll be getting in there fresh with everybody. This is Grey Zone Warfare Night Ops. I'm sure you're thinking, hey, OTA, this isn't night. Well, what I'm going to do here for the rest of the video is break down a few pieces of gameplay to highlight the change from day into night. I'm going to be playing with a random squad here, as you're seeing, two really fun guys that I met randomly. Uh, shout out to John Blaze, TTV, or TV, I should say. And also a little later, Chris T is going to be joining me, one of the good buddies here at the channel. Um, we're going to be highlighting key functions of this new update as well, and I'll be popping with some commentary as those bits come. So I hope you enjoy the rest of this video. Thank you for stopping in. Give it a like if you did. Cheers. Yo, Ark, how you liking it? How's it look? It looking good over here. I'm enjoying it. That's nice. Oh, There's a guy in front yep, of us. Yep, oh, ahead. shit. We're taking him out. Go for it. Kill. Ooh, not sure Shot where that's at. coming from. Southwest, south. Covering the right side of this building. I got one outside. Well, this guy died in a pretty precarious position, huh? <laughs> Oh my God. He's he's in the street. He's in the street. He's moving uh, behind the building, uh, like 240. He's in the bushes back there somewhere. There he is. He's dead. There's definitely more people southwest. Yeah, yeah. Uncle Mo across the street. Where are you? I went behind a building. But I'm scared to move. <laughs> come this way. Come this way. All right, we get this, this house in the compound here. I know, just on our left, is definitely hot. Do you want to ride the fence? Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Oh my god. I thought it was like, who's running a lawnmower? It's a guy mowing his lawn literally next door to me at my house. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, man, they got lawnmowers in this game now? Checking the white tent. One down. There's a guy Enemy right here. Close by. Yep, but he's right here on the other side of the fence. Can't find nothing. I think he's dead. Yep. It's getting dark. Sun is setting. Oh yeah, That's baby. Good. This looks beautiful, though. Yeah, this looks good. The sunset. And the dusk particularly looked really nice. Bad guys on our right. He's dead. I'll come here because we got to drop off one tracker at this box inside here. And then we got to a lumber yard and drop off one tracker. Oh, lumber yard. I have a key for that too. So here you're seeing me use the first set of MVGs that you're given access to. This is the PVS-7s. And 
I know that they were going for a realistic look, and they they absolutely nailed it. They they really did. Um, the one thing I feel like might be a bit of an issue is that I I would say almost all of the time your general visibility uh, in nighttime is just better without these on. Uh, you can see more. The lighting from the moon, generally speaking, is more than adequate to see what you're looking for. Um, I have not used them in the forested areas yet, but in towns and stuff where there is any amount of light already, uh, they just seem to really just be a hindrance to your field of view. And they're not clear all the time. And I know that, again, this is an intentional feature, but it's possible they may have made them a little too realistic. Also, naturally, I think the dual tube uh, NVGs are going to be just obviously way better in general, but I haven't been able to get to the point where I can unlock those yet. Uh, it looks like that'll take a while to do potentially, but I'm not 100% certain. Uh, just something to keep in mind. Probably all respawn too from before. Oh, yeah. yeah. Someone else? Yep, here I'm. Moving to your right side. I don't, I don't have eyes. Another Terminator. Uh, somebody far, like, south 165, too. Nice shots. One down over there, yep. Yeah. Let me double check where my other ones were, because we might run it. Oh, there's a guy inside. Unless that's one of our guys that's not. There's a guy in this building. Oh, nice. is that you? He's walking Where? out. He's walking out. In the, right here. Yep, I'm, ooh, I ran out of ammo. <laughs> maybe, oh, my God. Maybe one more in there. Another one from behind us, southeast. I don't know where. Yeah, this might be this might be a door here. Uh, yeah, this is yeah, this is it for sure. Circuit, to be honest, so we gotta head back. Yeah, for sure. But the night vision, I I kind of agree with um fucking this guy. What's his name again? <laughs> ATV. <laughs> ATV. OTA. I think once once we can like buy the 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 better NVG options, like ones with two actual two cones, like a you know wider peripheral, I think it'll be better. Let's go, baby! Ooh, yeah. Strap in, we're heading out. We we So my overall thoughts and feels of this is it's feels good. Um, one thing I, I will also say, even though it's not directly related to this update specifically, the performance right now is way, way better than it was the last time I played this. Um, it felt like you kind of needed a NASA super, a NASA, a NASA supercomputer to run this um, at any kind of effective performance level. Um, and now it feels much, much more doable um, with a wider range of setups. Granted, I did upgrade my GPU since the last time I played, but my 3080 from before really isn't that bad of a card that it should have been so bad as it was when I first played this. Um, it's come a really long way, and I think that that's a fantastic thing. So that's just a little tidbit I wanted to add at the end here. Here's a little bit of gameplay from Chris and I playing. Uh, we goofed around quite a bit. We had a great time, but I want to thank you guys for stopping in today watching this video. Hope you enjoyed it. We will see you on the next one. More GZW in the future. Cheers. <laughs>